Satan rose up so strong. That's right. In a politician. That's true. That's true. He rose up strong in religion. Yeah. And he rose up strong in false prophets. Right. But for the first time in the history of America, has Satan rose up so strong in a politician. That's right. That's right. Donald Trump Ministries. Yeah. All you got to do is be a fool to join. <laughs> Amen. It'll never save you. We're living in the last days, God knows. No doubt. All right, come on, Williams. Listen at this now. But evil men. Evil men. And seducers. And tricksters. Now, when someone seduces you, they manipulate you. Yeah. Con you. Oh, yeah. How could you blind men and women be so mentally warped yeah. that someone can trick you to invade? property of the government. We're going to walk down to the Capitol and then come back and turn on you and say, you that commit this violence, you shall be punished. You that done this, you shall be... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He is the one that sent you. That's right. You are loyal to him, but he ain't loyal to you. That's right. Them are the actions of a false prophet. That's right. They are the same way. The false prophet is not loyal to you. He's loyal to your money. He's loyal to your wallet. But your soul, he don't care about. That's right. Five people are dead because of your leader. That's right. Five people are dead. Been Killed out of time now, facing judgment to come. That's right. Because of your leader. Yeah. Bible said if the blind lead the blind, that don't just cover religion, that cover everything. That's right. Both shall fall. If the blind the leads blind. the blind, both shall fall into Both. The both. That's the teaching of Christ. Both. Both shall fall into the ditch. ditch. Hallelujah. Shall fall into the ditch. Into the ditch. Meaning both will be lost. That's right. That's right. Now let me get raw. I want to say you're already raw. All right. Well, if it's a word, let me get rawer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. That's right, Cheesy. Let, let me get rawer. <laughs> I want to see you ruined that word. That's all right, but you got what I'm That's saying. That's all right. If that was a mass crowd of all people of color, oh my goodness. My Lord, my Lord. If any of us would have managed to scale the wall, oh my Lord. We would have been falling off like roaches. That's right. Gunshots. That's right. Trump would have been on there, kill them all. Yeah, that's right. That's raw truth. That's right. Wonderful. I'm a religious investigator. That's right. I want to know, is this thing from God? Amen. I don't care if you get in the spirit and shaking. <laughs> Thus saith the Lord. <laughs> the Lord said. <laughs> I'm going to look at you. <laughs> what did God say? <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> I want to know yeah. from here. What did he say? What did he say? You see, a lot of you go through these churches that got these false prophets. They're very dramatic, like Kenneth Copeland. Mm. You know, they had this thing that was going all around America called laughing in the spirit. That's right. Do you remember this? That's right. Some of you never heard it. These were mega churches. <laughs> the media said Joe Biden's president. Ha, Four, 
five, six, seven, ten thousand people all falling out on the floor, all laying on the chairs, supposed to be laughing nonstop, nonstop. for hours, supposed to be under the inspiration of God laughing. Amen. All on the floor, tomorrow you're laughing in the spirit. No. No. You're dysfunctional. <laughs> That's right. I don't need the Holy Ghost to laugh. No. No, no. Up the streets. Come on, you Trumpites, wake up. That's right. You evangelicals that have misrepresented God. A true witness. You've got sinners all over social media mocking you. Fools make La a mock at sin. What, 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 what is that? Now in the book of Proverbs 14 and verse 9. What is it? Fools make a mock at sin. And that's what they're doing. Amen. That's right. They're walking around, no make, repentance, make, make walking around saying God said this. And their conscience does not move. That's right. You lie. That's right. All of you men and women that said the Lord said when the Lord said when nothing, you lie. Amen. Now it, it is done. The Lord says it is done. The Lord says it is done. For I hear victory, 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 victory in the quarters of heaven. In the quarters of heaven, victory, 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 victory. You can go back in the archives. Every election in America, you won't find no period mm. where a bunch of so-called preachers, churches, Church, right. fell under a prophecy spell That's right. about no man, That's right. whether he's Democrat or Republican, to get in the White House. That's right. Never in the history of America. Yeah. Have a mass crowd of so-called Christians got under a spell oh, yeah. to put a man in the White House. That's right. And so willing to lie to say, God said it. Amen. It had never happened in America. No. Why did God let this happen? To manifest the darkness that posed as light. That's right. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. I don't care how mad that makes you. You get pissed off as you want to. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. They are God-denying demons that butcher babies and hate this nation. Let me tell you something. You ain't seen an insurrection yet. You keep on pushing our buttons, you low-down, sorry, compromisers. You God-hating communist America, you'll find out what an insurrection is because we ain't playing your garbage. We ain't playing your mess. My Bible says that the church of the living God is an institution that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And the Bible says that we'll take it by force. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. Because God warned us about false prophets that come in my name. Yeah. You better give me the 23rd chapter of the book of Jeremiah yeah. and say, yeah. I have dream. That's right. I have dream. And here, God ain't told you nothing. That's right. So God allowed these men and women to prophesy by the moving of hell. Amen. Amen. And then allow it not to come to pass. That's right. To manifest their hypocrisy. Jeremiah chapter 23. Huh? Listen at this. Jeremiah 23 and verse 25. All right. I have heard what the prophet said. Oh, I've heard what the prophet said. That prophesied lies in my name. And did it how? In my name. And you can hear him all over social media. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord said yes, that one did. false prophet I was listening to briefly this morning until I had to laugh. To me, it was a comedy hour. <laughs> He said this big light came in back of his head. My Lord, my Lord. Probably was the police about to pull him over. <laughs> big light came in the back of his head. My Lord. Then he said it, he felt though, it felt like it was a scene from Batman. What? <laughs> Why don't you just stop being a joker? <laughs> That's right. That's right. They come with the most dramatic folly. Yes, they will. Just like Ahab. That's right. That's what Ahab did. That's right. He got all them 400 liars 
And uh, they tell they have gone up and prosper. Up the and Lord prosper. give it to you. Go yeah. on up and prosper. Mm. He had with lust for the one of some territory called Ramoth Gilead. Right. And he got all these false prophets together to, imp to impress Jehoshaphat. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets. Notice this in the book of Kings real quick. And then I want to go right back to where we were. Back in 1 Kings 22 at verse 6. Yes. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together. And what? About 400 men. About 400 lions. And said unto them, shall I go against Ramoth Gilead? Shall I go up against Ramoth Gilead? To battle or shall I forbear? And what happened? And they said, go up, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. How many was it? 400. 400 men. Yeah. 400 All men. in America, never in the history of this country, yeah. have anybody ran for office <laughs> and then the spirit of the devil yes. swept through America and all these evangelical fakers, Pentecostal fakers, yeah. some Baptist fakers, some apostolic fakers yeah. was anointed by Satan. That's right. I have heard what the prophet said. Was anointed by Satan. Amen. We are electing a man in Donald Trump who believes in the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Mark Burns. That's the guy I needed to talk to. The man who gave the benediction on the opening night of the RNC. I believe Donald Trump, without question, loves God. He believes in the one true God. He believes Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior. He believes marriage is between one man and one woman. Who does? Donald Trump believes one marriage is between one man and one woman. He also believes... Until a younger woman comes along. No, 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 But never in the history of America yep. have Satan rose up so strong that's right. In a politician. That's true. That's true. He rose up strong in religion. Yeah. And he rose up strong in false prophets. Right. But for the first time in the history of America, has Satan rose up so strong yeah. in a politician. That's right. That's right. Who hid behind the name Jesus. Yes he, did. yes, he did. Holding the Bible. Holding the Bible. Yes, he was. For pretense, make long prayers. That's right. That's right. And then Satan wanted everybody to know that Trump was his. Yeah. How? I'll move on religious leaders and put Trump's name in their mouth. Mm. And I would make them say the Lord said, the Lord said it. Wow. One false prophet said the Lord spoke to me and said, Trump, the man from New York is my servant and he shall, he shall serve this second time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you <laughs> forgot a tongue. Yeah. Liar. <laughs> you, for, you forgot, forgot to end that, that forgot tongue. That. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Liar. That's right. That's the devil out of hell. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Evil men. Evil men. And seducers. You've been duped. Shall wax worse and worse. You've been conned. Amen. Amen. And yet they claim that, oh, you know, these, these so-called Republican parties. Oh, we are the calm party. We are the party that points you to Christ. <laughs> Y'all are just as violent. Yes, sir. Yeah. Many of you are nothing but pure thoroughbred bigots. That's right. Pure homegrown racists. That's right. Who use the scriptures as nothing but a front. You carry a book carry you can't it. even understand. Amen. A book that you don't even respect. Yeah. You are liars. Lies. Lies. Have you ever asked God for forgiveness? That's a tough question. I, I don't think in terms of I have I'm I'm a religious person. But have you ever asked God for forgiveness? <laughs> I'm not sure I have. I just go and try and do a better job from there. I don't think so. I think I, if, I, if I do something wrong, I think I just try and make it right. I don't bring God into that picture. I don't. No. That's right. Did you hear the old man? That's right. A flag with Trump name have no value than toilet paper. No value. 
In fact, I believe taller people have more value. <laughs> and seduces. I pray that this is a lesson to all you so-called religious people who get head over heels by some politician. Listen, not even black folk got that crazy about uh, Barack. That's true. That's true. You know, many folks, people of color, and many whites was crying and happy. Yeah. Because they received the first black press. Oh, he was happy. Oh, yeah. All the news all of a sudden changed their tone. Look at him standing up there, standing up there in a city that was built by slaves. You ain't you ain't even heard that before. That's right. That's right. This is a sick society. Think of it, viewers. Politicians must get on board with God. That's right. People of God should never get on board with the politician if he's against God. Amen. No one said, what is your political views, Pastor Jennings? My political views is holy. holy. Holiness govern my political decision. Holiness govern my political involvement. Amen. Do you vote? Holiness, govern my vote. 